All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to your home by Shimeo Shah. This is Rayabi Bangad. Sakari Seattle set. <clears throat> and I'm um, back with another Sakari news saga, uh, news news report. And, you know, just dealing with um, last week, dealing with Donald Trump. <clears throat> He's calling for an expanded missile defense program. Now, I just want to bring this out. I'm going to play this short three minute clip and I'm going to pull out of scripture because. You know, even America, as prideful as it is, believes that it cannot be touched. As prideful as this country is, it believes that no one else is going to hit this with intercontinental ballistic missiles. But we know in the scriptures that that's going to happen. And that's going to, and these missiles are not going to miss their mark. And they're going to hit their mark, every last one of them. Okay? So I'm, I'm not going to make this too long. But I'm going to bring out a couple of scriptures, but piggybacking off of, you know, what this man right here, all right, uh, Donald Trump is saying, and what's the, what the plans is to try to, you know, have a defense system for these missiles coming, you know? So let's play this. Our new strategy calls for six major changes in missile defense policy. First, we will prioritize the defense of the American people above all else. Our review calls for 20 new ground-based interceptors at Fort Greene, Alaska, and new radars and sensors to immediately detect foreign missiles launched against our great nation. We are committed to establishing a missile defense program that can shield every city in the United States and we will never negotiate away our right to do this. Second, we will focus on developing new technology, not just investing more money into existing systems. The world is changing, and we're going to change much faster than the rest of the world. Third, we will protect the American people from all types of missile attacks. In the past, the United States lacked a comprehensive strategy for missile defense that extended beyond ballistic missiles. Under our plan that will change, the U.S. will now adjust its posture to also defend against any missile strikes, including crews and hypersonic missiles. Fourth, we will recognize that space is a new warfighting domain with the Space Force leading the way. My upcoming budget will invest in... And you know, and you know also too, dealing with this, you know, they know that they're going to have that fight with the, with the Most High and His angels, all right? You know, they're going to have the, that fight with... Um, you know, Yahweh Shai and the angels. I mean, these these devils know the elites and the ones that are in in the know, so to speak. They don't. They know that they, their time is up, and they know that they gotta uh, they, they gotta pay that piper. You know what I'm saying? For lack of a better term, um, you know. And that's another thing that that I want to touch on too. Um, you know, in this video. Because he said, yeah, well, you know, we also got to worry about, you know, being attacked from space. Well, from who? Who else has a military? Who's a, who else is trying to expand a military um, space ops up in the skies? No, it's just, it's, you know, the UN. Yeah, you these other nations. But guess what? You know, America is. But who are you really setting up these satellites for these uh, this military militarizing space for you're militarizing it because you know that the UFOs, the chariots of God, the chariots of the Most High, the recording the scriptures are coming down to rain fire upon you. Just like in, the, in that movie, H.G. H.G. Wells' War of the World. And that's what's about to happen. You know? And there's nothing, these devils, these these elites, these, there's nothing that uh, these um, nations can do about it. But I'm going to keep playing. A space-based missile defense layer. It's new technology 
it's all yeah, so these are this is new technology that they're they're throwing around because they know that they time is up man he ain't gonna go down without a fight but he's gonna get utterly wasted so let me continue ultimately going to be a very very big part of our defense and obviously of our offense first we will remove bureaucratic obstacles to dramatically speed up the acquisition and deployment of the new technology and sixth we will insist on fair burden sharing with our allies we cannot be the fools for others we cannot be we don't want to be called that and i will tell you for many years behind your backs that's what they were saying so there's a big difference we're going to be with NATO 100 percent but as i told the countries you have to step up you have to pay minimum numbers actually the num all right i can stop on that so with that said let's let's deal with the missile uh that whole thing with the missile defense system all right let's go to joel okay or well, go to Joel the second chapter, all right? So this is Joel the second chapter, right? Um, I'm gonna start at uh one, all right? Joel chapter two verse one: Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. So the day of the Lord is gloomy, is dark, is it's uh, terrifying. You know what I'm saying? He's about to bring his judgment. And he's about to send his son down, Yahushai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, down to redeem the remnant of the elect and to wage holy hell and warfare upon this place. So verse two, a day of darkness and gloominess, and a day of clouds and of thick darkness as a morning spread. Upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, there have not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. And the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of the chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame, a fire that devoured the stubble, and as strong, and as a strong people set in the battle array. And what is this talking about? The missile alignments. The the when the missiles are shot from the silos, these other countries. That's how they're gonna look. They're gonna they're gonna be like like how an inf, you know an inf, army infantry are all lined up in a column. That's exactly how it's going to be, how they're going to be coming in. Okay. Verse six, before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Right. So they're not going to break their ranks. They're going to climb up the walls. All right. In other words, these borders of, of these countries, especially America, because America is destined to be wiped out by thermonuclear fire. Okay. Neither shall one thrust one another. Yes. Yeah, so they're going to be in, in alignment. You know, these, you know, even with the missile defense system or electromagnetic waves that they're going to try to use or the new high technology that they're going to use to uh, block off these missiles, they shall walk everyone in this path. And when they shall fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. Right? They shall not be wounded. Why? Because they're going to be utterly, they're going to utterly waste this place. Now I'm going to um, go into another translation, right? For, for uh, Joel chapter 2, verse 8. All right. So let's see. So watch this. Um, let's see, which version should I use? Okay, I'm going to use this version, the NET version. 
they do not jostle one another. Each of them marches straight ahead because when the way it's look is built, the way it's being described, these missiles are being described by Job. It looks like men of war would battle armor on because that's how the nuclear missiles look. They're metal, they're uh, burning and filled with fire. And that was the best way he could explain the visions that he was seeing at that time. And it says, they, so Joel 2 and 8 in the NET version, they do not just one another. Each of them marches straight ahead. They burst through the city defenses and do not break ranks. So it bursts through the city defenses. What is that talking about? The missile defense system. Neither does one justle another. They march every one. So this is an NHEB um, version. Neither does one jostle another. They march everyone in this path. They burst through the defenses and do not break their ranks. All right, this is the WEB version. Neither the do does one jostle another. They march everyone in this path. And they burst through the defenses and don't break ranks. So the missile defense system is finished and it's it's, it's not going to hold up like this this clown. You know, this idiot right here believes it's going to going to do just like the ones that are in power that put this man over to say is going to is going to uh, have a defense against the missiles. No, nah, it's not. All right. Now, I just I'm not going to go too too far into the whole um, thing about um, <clears throat> what he talked about, uh, the, the space, the, the space uh program that they set up but i'm just gonna go and uh <clears throat> excuse me I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the scripture where it talks about that war in heaven with the battle of armageddon all right so this is what's gonna happen to you know that space program of this uh, of these devils man these these united nations the nato slash uh, nato slash eu all right in America itself, the great whore. All right. So Revelations 12 and 7. And there was a war and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels. All right. The chief uh, angel. All right. The one under the Yahweh Shai. All right. The general, um, so to speak. Um, and his angels. Right. The other angels and their chariots. Because when you deal with the word heaven. Right. Let's go to it. And I broke this down before. Um, the word heaven is what? Arunos, the vaulted expanse of the sky and all the things visible in it. The universe, the world, the aerial heavens or sky, the region where the clouds and tempests gather and where lightning and thunder and lightning are produced. So it's, that's talking about the second heaven. The first heaven is is uh, is is um what we see on the ground uh, on the earth second uh, the second heaven is what the vault expanses of the sky and in in space itself all right but it's not going to go much farther than the van allen belt anyways if you're dealing with the battle right uh, the, that being the war in heaven okay um so yeah, it says, and there was a war in heaven up in the clouds up near the space in the atmosphere. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, which is a so-called white man, and right, and the dragon fought against fought in his angels. And what are those angels? His um, his aerial technology, his uh, you know, the other nations first and foremost, but also to their um, their their anti-aircraft um, vehicles that they're going to be operating, you know, um, you know, their, their uh, fighter jets, their war, their, um, you know, their planes, you know, that they're going to use to fight against the chariots and the angels, right? And prevail in verse eight and prevail not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So then they're, they're not going to have this great, um, missile defense system neither are they going to have this great uh defense against the most high uh angels and his um you know against yahweh shy against michael the archangel or against the chariots which are the so-called ufos 
they're going to be utterly wasted. Okay. So verse uh, eight, and neither prevail, it's like, and prevailed not, neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, the old servant called the devil and Satan, so-called white man, the Edomites, was deceived with the world, whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Right. So the other nations were cast out. They're great weapons of warfare, you know, they're air, of aerial combat up in the up in the skies was cast out and their ultimate rulership was cast out. OK, and these are all things that are prophesied now. And it's beautiful. We live in some horrific times, but beautiful times as well. We're living in a time of judgment and prophecy now. So with that said, I'm gonna be back, man, because I'm gonna talk about that uh that whole little rally with the native that Native American man beating the drum and the Israelite brothers of HOI that was down there standing bow for that brother. Um, we we'll be back with the um, news art uh, news um commentary on that, but I want to get this one out of the way real quick. So with that said, I want to give all praises. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yashai. This is Officer Rayab Bangad from Sakari Seattle Sit. Until next, and this has been another edition of uh, Sakari News Saga. Until next time, Shalom.